welcome to your midweek edition of BT Breaks with myself, one of my the flame. Yes, honey, I am back. And as always, I bring with me the scoop fresh out of the tub. Did you miss me? The sad news of radio veteran Bob Mabena's untimely passing sent shockwaves through the nation earlier this week when we learned that the legend is indeed no more. Now, it is with no surprise that with over 31 years of broadcast experience, most South African media personalities credit Bob Mabena for blazing a trail and opening doors for them in the world of broadcast. Now, radio and TV host Redi Klabi tweeted a fond memory of how Bob gave her her very first job in radio with no experience but purely based on her talent. And that is a testament of the true visionary Bob Mabena was. Now, we at BET would like to send our heartfelt condolences to the Mabena family and his loved ones. Legends may fall, but their memory lives on in the hearts of the people they touched. On a slightly lighter note, Zoto Abantu was the topic of the town when her disgruntled lover's rant went viral this week. Now, in the video, Zoto is calling on the nation to help find her ex-lover Vusingubane, whom she claims used her name to score himself a swanky new car for the Durban July. Now, according to Zotwa, a case of fraud has been opened against the former lover, and she also has requested that he return all the things she had given him during their relationship. Now, guys, help me out here. Does dating someone way younger than you usually end in one messy blow-up? I mean, first it was the Smiths and their entanglement saga, and now this. Yo, guys, maybe just stick to dating people within your own age group to avoid juvenile drama. You know what I'm saying? Nicki Minaj's uh, legion of followers, better known as the Barbs, have descended one once again and join forces to unleash their fury on their latest unsuspecting victim, in this case, ASAP Ferg. Now, the reason for this outrage and the hashtag ASAP is over party comes after the release of the Billboard Hot 100 list where ASAP's track featuring Nikki called Move Your Hips only managed to hit the number 19 spots. Now, according to the Barbs, the reason behind the song failing to reach number one was because ASAP allegedly failed to submit the sales of the track from his website, which apparently combined with Nikki's sales would have resulted in another number one song on the billboard for the platinum selling queen. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will be the last time anyone ever messes with the bars, that is for sure. And speaking of Miss Onika Mirage, Cardi B didn't let her feud with Nikki stand in the way of her giving Miss Minaj due credit for the role she's played in flying the flag for female rappers in the game. Now, in a recent interview, Cardi spoke about the fact that there was a time when there was only one female dominating the rap game who continues to do so now of course she wouldn't bring herself to mention the woman in question but it's pretty obvious as to who she was referring to which honestly just speaks to the fact that you can't deny nikki's contribution prowess and dominance man beef or no beef our weekly salute goes out to the African giant, none other than Burner Boy. His much-anticipated album called Twice As Tall is set to rock the airwaves as it drops on the 14th of August. Now, the album features musical legends such as Chris Martin, Yuso Undo, Naughty By Nature, and is executive produced by none other than P. Diddy. I think we can safely say that Burner is a gone boy. This album is definitely going to be a banger, y'all. I cannot wait. Well, unfortunately, it's time for me to head on out but I'll see you guys again same time, same place right here on BT Africa Channel 129 at 9.30 p.m. CAT on Friday, giving you all the tea from the land of the stars. For now, let's keep the conversation going on Twitter. Use the hashtag BT Breaks app and tag at BT underscore Africa to let me know what you thought about tonight's show. Otherwise, I will see you next time. And until then, please stay safe, sanitized and healthy. I'm so glad to be back. I love you all so very much. Mwah. Bye, honey.